The main difference here is that one feels like ChatGPT made the cuts, while the other one has been trained on real human editors and their techniques. That's what I love about it. I love that it has been trained on real decisions by the editors all around the world while delivering podcast clips. Those clips tend to be more engaging and with some super cool things that I'll show you right now. That is exactly what this tool is doing, Chop AI. It is trained on real editors. So what happened here is that a lot of podcasts have been edited by this company, this agency, and you know they worked with a lot of editors and they recorded their techniques and their decisions and then they trained this tool on that info, right? While the Opus clip is, well, it's just generic. It delivers you blocks of text and it's just like, you know, just cutting out the clip like a chat GPT would do it. So today we're gonna go and we're gonna take the same video, the same podcast from YouTube and I'm gonna just run it through both of these so you can see for yourself. So let's just start. I'm gonna take this clip. So this is from Chris Williamson. I'll just copy the link. So I'm gonna go with Chop AI here, click on new project, paste the link here, and I'm gonna do the same thing with Opus Clip, get free clips. On Chop AI, you should specify how many speakers are there. You will select a category. Interview and educational podcast are the two categories available now with some of these new ones coming soon. And it would be good for you to, you know, just add these effects, music and punch zooms, because once again, It'll use what real editors use, but you're gonna see that in action. So just click on generate clips. So both videos are in the process right now, as you can see Opus Clip is here, and we're gonna play with both of these results. So both of these results are here. This is Chop AI, and this is Opus Clip. Now, first of all, what you can see is that there's a lot more clips on Opus, and I'm gonna explain why. There's like more than 10 here, in here, you can find only six clips, but this is because this is chopping up clips based on quality, while the Opus clip is doing it in terms of quantity. Now, you're gonna notice this by yourself because when I click on this clip right here, and what is it that makes I'm just gonna pause it. Now, first of all, what you can see is that it takes sentences, not in blocks, but it goes with the meaning, right? So this is the actual process of a real human editor, where he cuts it up, he just takes away the fluff, for example, this sentence here, I don't think it's mainly their raw intellect. Well, it's not needed, right? It's not gonna boost the engagement of the clip if it leaves this sentence in. And the same goes with this sentence here. And you can see that, for example, even though this is like cut up between these like three or four words, you can see that it has a nice flow because you can just read it out. I think it's their ability to build up contexts, to build up context. So what it is that makes humans valuable workers? I think it's their ability to build up context. So you can see it's really, really good. While on the other hand, if you just take Opus Clip and let me just take something which has more of these. So you can see that this is a block of text, right? This is not gonna help the engagement because, well, statistically, even though you don't even have to read, statistically, there's no chance that everything inside of this block is gonna be important, right? And, you know, so good, so viral worthy. So as you can see, it stops at 2.01 and then it starts at 2.02. So it's not even going it's just going paragraph by paragraph. It's just robotic cut. But here you can see that it goes from sentence to sentence, going with the context here and chopping it up in order to have the best engagement possible. So let's just preview this here humans valuable workers. I think it's their ability to build up context and this ability just doesn't exist in these models. They exist session to session and everything that they have learned about you evaporates after every hour. It's like fucking 50 first dates. So you can see that it uses zooms and it uses music. So the music stops to emphasize something and later on I can show you how to use this yourself, but it's really going good. Well, if you preview this here, let's just go with this one. How did we just get used to this idea that like, 
oh, of course I can ask a machine a question and it'll like think about it for a while and then come back with an answer. <laughs> like that's what machines do. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're not noticing the the sort of. See, I I don't like the ums. I don't like I don't like this preview. This is not something that you want to have when you're just looking for engagement on your clips. And also, it's really good that Chop AI is giving you the hook, all right? Every one of these clips is having a good hook. For example, this one starts with a question, what it is that makes humans valuable workers? That's a strong hook. And I actually found the same you know, clip here on Opus Clip, but here you can see how, it, first of all, there's these blocks. And you see here that it doesn't start with a hook. For example, let me just go and, you know, find the same sentence here. So here it is. Like this starts like this. It's worth backing up and thinking about like why, what is it that makes humans valuable workers? So you can see this fluff before. It's just not going to be good for engagement. And then it has more fluff after the question until we get to this, it's their ability to build up context. I mean, now you can just see it for yourself. It's all here for you to see, to compare. And I hope that this makes sense now. I hope you understand why I prefer Chop AI. You have a link for it down there in the description, by the way. But let me just show you how editing this is really cool as well. Because first of all, if you want to add or remove something from the edit, you just have to select it in text, all right? So for example, I just want to add this, for example. It's their ability to interrogate their own failures. I can just click on Save Changes button here, and it's going to add this video cut. We can just preview it like this. Click here. You've got fast and normal. I'll just go with fast so I can just show you this What is fast. it that makes humans valuable workers? I think it's their ability to build up context. It's their ability to interrogate their own failures. And this... So it just added this text, which I've selected earlier. So it's their ability to interrogate their own failures. And the same goes if I wanted to remove something. So in this case, let's just go with the same. I just go and remove this sentence here. You can remove or add whatever you'd like. And then just click on Save Changes button here. And now let's see it. Valuable workers. I think it's their ability to build up context and this ability just doesn't. So it removed it. The only downside is that Chop AI is a bit slower because, well, it just has a lot more data to use and it has it has been trained on human decisions and, well, it just needs time to process all of that. But the result is what we're looking for, at least in my case. Now, there's also this section here, which is emphasis. And for example, if you want to, you know, emphasize something, for example, like this sentence here, you can just go like this, select it, and down there you see that there's a zoom, animate, subtitles, and stop music options. So you can use this to highlight whatever you want in your videos. And these are actually the techniques that I was telling you about by real editors. There is a zoom, there's swooshes, there's stopping the music, and it's not like stopping and starting the music abruptly. It is going with the style and it is using the same technique that these editors, proven editors, have been using. Also, you can add B-roll here. It works with Google and Unsplash. You just search for videos and images. You can just click on add. You change the image here. As you can see, you can just search for the term. For example, beach. Just go and search for it. It's going to search for it on Google and on Unsplash here. Same goes with the videos. You can just use videos from Pexels here. Just add them, for example, like this. I'll just use this one, close, choose the video. And here you specify from when to when you want this video to appear. Same goes with music here. There's some music from YouTube and there's framing here. Auto frame with AI. It's just going to take a look at the faces design here as well you have a lot of styles for the subs here so yeah take your pick and the general settings is just choosing your format so that's about it so yeah give it a try you'll see the difference is big and if you're looking for engagement well chop ai is the way to go wish you good luck and i'll catch you in the next one